Here's the next question. Let S equals to summation N is equal to 0 to infinity. N into alpha power N where mod of alpha is less than 1. The value of alpha in the range from 0 to 1 such that S is equal to 2 alpha is dash. Okay, so basically we need to find out what is the value of alpha over here in this sequence. So we have the sequence given to us S is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity n times alpha power n. Now it's given that S is equal to 2 alpha. So let's substitute that over here. 2 alpha is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n alpha power n. So now let's expand this and see what we get here. So we expand by putting 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. So you will see that we get alpha plus 2 alpha square plus 3 alpha cube plus so on and so forth up to infinity. So let's take alpha common over here. We'll get alpha 1 plus 2 alpha plus 3 alpha square plus so on and so forth up to infinity. Now this expansion over here that is within the parenthesis, within the brackets, corresponds to 1 minus a to the power of minus 2. Now because this is alpha, it would be written as 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2. That is only the part which is inside the bracket 1 plus 2 alpha plus 3 alpha square all that is can be written as 1 minus it's a binomial expansion. So 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2. So this comes to alpha into 1 minus alpha minus 2 and this given that the condition mod of alpha is less than 1. So you will have to keep that in mind as well. So for mod of alpha is less than 1 it satisfies. Okay, so this is right. Alpha into 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2. So this is 2 alpha. That's the left hand side. 2 alpha is equal to alpha times so much. So let's solve for alpha here. We'll get uh, 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2 is equal to 2 because alpha and alpha cancels out over here. Furthermore, alpha is equal to 1 minus 1 by root 2. How you ask? Let me show that over here on the side. Please see. Now 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2 is equal to 2. So this can be written as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha square is equal to 2. We can expand. Write it in terms of um, a quadratic form. Quadratic equation. Okay, so we'll get 1 divided by 1 minus alpha times 1 minus alpha is equal to 2. 1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus alpha into 1 minus alpha. 2 times 1 plus alpha square minus 2 alpha. 1 is equal to 2 plus 2 alpha square minus 4 alpha. So we now have a quadratic equation. Let me write this down here. 1 is equal to 2 plus 2 alpha square minus 4 alpha. So this gives us 2 alpha square minus 4 alpha minus 1 is equal to 0. So again we can find out what alpha is by using minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. You will see that you will get two values of alpha. Now you need to choose the value of alpha that lies between 0 and 1. That is the condition given in the question, the range of 0 to 1. So in this range, 1 minus 1 by root 2 is the value that you will obtain. I have written that here. So for 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 2 is equal to 2. When you solve this, you will get two values of alpha. 
choose the value of alpha that comes within the range given in the question. Alpha lies between 0 to 1. And when we solve this even further, uh, it comes around to 0.29. So alpha equals 0.29. This is the final answer. Now because it is not a multiple choice, we are to solve it entirely. Well, I hope this has helped.